All right, and welcome to the ultimate guide to isosceles triangles, level four. Now, in problem number five, we're given kind of this weird shape, and let's really highlight some things. We see here from this tick mark and from this tick mark that these two sides of this left triangle are congruent. And so what are we saying? Well, we're saying, hey, this is our isosceles triangle number one. All right, and then let's use two different colors. I see here these two tick marks and these two tick marks are telling us, hey, these are the sides to what we'll call isosceles triangle number two. Now this also says find the measure of PTR. So let's see P to T to R. So we're looking for this angle way over here. And so what they want to do in this problem is they want to give you T to P to R. They give you this initial angle is 42. And notice, what do we call this angle? Well, this is our vertex angle, all right? And so whenever you're looking at the isosceles triangle with our vertex angle, we know that this base angle right here is different, but it's congruent to that base angle right there. So what do we do? Well, we're just gonna do 180 minus 42, which is 138. And then what we wanna say is, okay, well, what is that number, 138? divided by two, right? Because there's two base angles. And I guess 130, half of 138 is gonna be 69. Does that make sense? Yeah, so that'd be 69 degrees. I don't have a calculator, so I'm just kinda, kinda freehanding this. Okay, now that we know that that's 69 degrees, the question then becomes, well, how in the world do I then get into this triangle right here? And I noticed that that 69 is on a straight line. Okay, well what do we know about angles on a straight line? They add up to 180. So I can do 180 minus 69, which appears like it would be 131. 100 and, no that's not, that's not correct. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Okay, the 120, yeah, 111 degrees. Okay, so now that I know that this is 111 degrees, all I have to do is now find this missing angle. And what we do is we simply repeat the process here. Okay, we simply repeat that. We say, okay, I know that these two base angles right here, plus this vertex angle, they all add up to 180. So 180 minus 111. And newsflash, it's just gonna be that number. It's gonna be 69. All right, take 69, uh, divide it by two. And let's see, half of 68 would be 34, so this must equal 34.5 degrees. And there's our answer. Angle PTR is equal to 34.5 degrees. All right, these are the tricky ones. Take your time, really walk yourself through it, and I'll see you all in our next video.